good. What's going on with Chelsea other than them being 10th? <laughs> no, they're winning the league now. They've won three in a row. Um, oh, Jesus. Potter's back. He didn't He didn't say that. He didn't say that. No, no, no. No, just, um, yeah, listen, I was just on a show and there was a West Ham fan and it made me feel a lot better about my own club, right? <laughs> so, oh, yeah. They're men up. Yeah, man, I fight in relegation, and it's mad because last season I was saying today, last season they was in the European Cup final. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, yeah, they got to. Uh, did, did they? Was it? Did they get to the final, or the semi? Yeah, they got they the got final really against beat. Berlin, and they got beat. I swear. No, Not I Berlin, think they got, sorry, the other German team. Yeah, I think they got knocked out in the semi by uh, was it Frankfurt? Because yeah, because well, we Frankfurt. played this year. Oh, oh, in the I Champions League the final, the semi. Yeah, Eintracht Frankfurt. Yeah. yeah. Because they beat Rangers, didn't they? Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, be grateful for what you've got and all that. <laughs> so. All they good. got to the semi-finals of the um, European Cup and then they're fighting relegation. Like, bro, that's football, though. Life comes at you fast, isn't it? It's just like um, Leicester, bro. I've won the league one season, flipping nearly got relegated the next, bro. This is just what happened. Yeah, that's why. Listen, you've got to, you, you know, you've got to strike while the iron's hot and... Uh, I think West Ham tried to do too much. I don't know why we're talking about West Ham. That's my fault. But yeah, West Ham, mm-hmm. they, um, I think they tried to change who they were overnight from what made them a good team last year. Yeah, and, make them hard to beat and stuff. And then yeah. they tried to sign footballers. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> and without, that's without what having about. a footballing manager. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, it's... Uh, I, I, I truly believe, right, that if you've got, if you got a, a decent manager down there, I reckon... If they got a football playing manager like a Deserbi or a, or even a Marco Silva, I mm. think I think they they've got a good team. But uh, hey, that's them, not my club. So no, hundred percent no. But you're right though. It, it it does matter like with the personnel, and that's why like Chelsea's been linked with like Luis Enrique, and it's just like he's the kind of manager that needs his own players, isn't it? So. Mm. Like bringing him in in a team where he's clearly not going to be allowed to bring in his own players is a recipe for disaster. Sometimes you just have to realize that certain managers belong in certain places and better, um, certain teams are better suited to certain types of managers. And David Moyes is not a ball playing manager, yeah, yeah, that, that's that's the thing. Certain look, certain players work for a manager, certain players work for a, a certain club, same with managers. That, that That's the way it is, right? And Unfortunately, we all get greedy in life. So I've got West Ham mates that, were, you know, that the whole, you must have seen it, Rance. Oh, West Ham are massive and all this nonsense last year. Um, and they've just tried one step too much this year. And, mm. uh, and yeah, it's not worked. But listen, do you think they could go down? I don't think they will, but I like seeing them like scampering for their lives, though. It's funny, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, you know I mean, because I know their fans, their, their fans believe that they're too good to go down, and I just think with all the hype around like Rice and all these other things, I was like, bro, if your players were as good as you thought you were, you wouldn't be in a relegation battle, would it? Yeah, like, that's just this is just what it is. You're there because you deserve to be there. So, yeah, no, <clears throat> this no, is what it is. Yeah, you're bang on. I, I listen. I just want them to go down just because so many of my mates are West Ham and they are they were unbearable last year. So this mm. would be. Uh, I won't. I wouldn't even banter them. I just quietly look at them and. You know, uh, probably go with them to watch some championship games next year. West Ham versus Blackpool, <laughs> other stuff. But yeah. Uh, yeah, it's all good. It's all good. What I happened with your boys yesterday. at the weekend? I didn't. I didn't actually see it. What's that? What happened with your boys yesterday? I, I, I was flying, so I didn't actually see the game. But listen, us. Listen, we are. Um, well, what part of it, bro? Should I say because that red card I'm fuming about. Do you know what I mean? But I have my own bone to pick with um with referees in general. Like, do you know what I mean? And it stems from years and years back. I just don't like referees, bro. Like, you know the way people don't like parking parking attendants and don't like the police. I, I have the referees in the same bracket as these people. Do you know what I mean? And this is just what it is. Like, I've deeped it. Like, how many guys do you know, yeah, that were good at football, yeah, that decided to be a referee? Like none. Do you know what I mean? Like these are the guys that did that got picked last in PE or not at all, and decided, you know what, I'm going to be a referee so I can ruin the game for everyone else because they don't pick me. Like I, that, I've got the game cracked. That has to be it. That has to be it. Do you know what I mean? Because it's like these guys are just out here ruining football matches. Like honestly, these guys are me- meant to be put there to make the game safe, 
and to make the game as fair as possible. And they're they're fucking awful. Do you know what I mean? They're absolutely awful. And it's not. And the thing is, it's not just my team. Yeah, when it comes to Man United, there's not a single. There, to, there is not a single football fan that likes referees, bro. Do you know what I mean? There's not a single. There's not a single football fan because they fuck up the game, bro. And then when you add VAR to that, between referees being morons and then VAR. It just enables them to double down on their bullshit, bro. Like, I can't stand it. I yeah, actually can't I, stand it. It's definitely got worse over the years, the, the whole standard of refereeing. I mean, I remember growing up, like, referees seem to, to be in control, you know. Um, now it just it just feels like none of them have got any command. Um, mm. You know, I, I watch games now where there's, there's eight, nine players all hovering around the referee when there's a tackle, trying to tell him to book people and mm. scream in his face. What, what happened to the days? Referees just go, you go away. Do you know what I mean? Go, no, you go or away. just book the guy, <laughs> tend to fuck off. Do you know what I mean? Because I saw Bruno exactly. doing it and he does it a lot. He chases the referee yeah. around the pitch. If I'm the ref, I just be like, all right, cool. Yeah. There you go. No, no, no. Do you know what I, I mean? Uh, set the, the, set the standard. Do you know what I mean? You can fuck off. Or yeah. as a referee, just tell them to fuck off. They'll, they'll respect that. Do you know what I mean like like literally because if the players are going to give it to you give it back have a bit about you but most of these referees are timid do you know what I mean and they hide behind their whistle that's what they do do you know what I mean so if they've got a gripe against a player they'll take it out on the whole team if uh, do you know if I was refs I'd be going into the change rooms before the game and saying hey guys <laughs> I will not stand for this yeah you crowd around me I will mm. yellow card you you show an imaginary card because I hate that rants this this is yep. getting it's always been in football, but it feels like now it's getting worse and worse. Everyone doing this, book him, book him, mm -hmm. book him. It's like, come on, when are we going to, you know, when are we, uh, the rugby style of refereeing? Where, oh, I you love know, it. And they're mic'd up as well. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and, yeah. and they have to respect the referees and the referees will tell them to fuck off. Like, I've heard it and there's nothing wrong with it. At the end of the day, if players are giving you some, you should be able to give it back to them. At the end, like, like I said, yeah, if the players feel like they can speak to you a certain way, you should be able to speak to them a certain way. There needs to be a certain level of understanding in it. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And it's one of them things where you have to have some bottle to be a referee. And I think a lot of these referees lack bottle. And the problem with that is they're afraid to make the big decisions. They're afraid to make them. And then when they do make them and they make the wrong decisions, they're hiding behind their badge. Do you know what I mean? These guys are not held accountable for any decision they make. They can just make a decision and then that's it. That's the end of yeah. it. You know what I mean? How how is that a thing? Managers don't get that luxury. Players don't get that luxury. You know what I mean? But referees, like, there's no, there's absolutely no, um, there's no accountability for these guys, and then they try and make themselves the victims. Do you know? Do you know what it is for me? I think it's it's consistency that that I think every fan gets really annoyed with. So look, first of all, one of the things I hate, I, I hate it when I'm at a game, when I go to the stadium. I hate it. Fans, fans will scream and cry for any any time a ball goes in a box, they want a, a handball. Mm. Any tackle, they want a foul. And mm. the thing is, the refs respond to that. You can see they do. The refs, the refs yep. want to over ref a game. Do you know what I mean? But Gone that's the, the day problem. It'd be, like, it'd be like two men clatter into each other. You up, you up. Carry on, go. Carry on playing. Now everything's a great mm. big hoo ha. Everything's a well, let's slow this video down 94 times to see if it actually was a high, dangerous tackle. And, oh, good God. Good God. Go back to the old days. Get it mm. on. No, no, 100%. They need to literally... What needs to happen is these guys need to just have a bit about them. And if they don't, then this is where the problem is. Because like I said, as to be a player at top level, you need to have a certain... You need to have a certain temperament. You need to have a certain bit about you. And to be a referee, to control all of these guys, you need to have a bit about you, innit? And every time I watch these football games, it just looks like these refs do not have control of the game. And as a referee, it's down to you. It is completely down to you to get control of it. Yeah. Completely down to you from the beginning. Like, you get control of the game even before the game starts. Like you said, go into the change room and let these guys know. Just yeah. like in boxing... The referee who stands in front, stands in between both of these guys and says, listen, I'll accept this, that and the other. Below this is a low blow. This is the rules. Protect yourself. That's it. Now, that's what you do as a referee. And then you enforce those rules throughout the game. These guys are cowards, bro. Yeah. 
yeah. and they're just running no, around think... hiding behind their whistle, bro. It's embarrassing. And in not one club fans have anything good to say about the, the level of officiating in this country. It's appalling. Yeah, no, it, it is. And I think when you watch other leagues as well, like I watch a lot of other leagues, mm. I don't watch it and think, oh, the refs are really bad. But when I watch when I watch the Premier League, it does feel like it's it's all a bit too hectic for the refs. Mm. You know, for me, I want to see I want to see a strong strong ref like a remember Kalina. Remember, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, I want a ref he like took that no shit. who gets the two captains and says, "You come here, you come here, right? You tell all your teams, right? They mm. don't talk to me. You talk to me, and you talk to me. Maybe I don't know. What do you think? Something like this, Rance? Like instead of all this VAR stuff and they they check everything, why doesn't every team get two challenges in a match? You yeah. get two times where you go, we would like to invoke VAR, two. Yeah, they have that in basketball where you can challenge. Right. right. Rather than every single time. I mean, mm. listen, I'm not saying it because it's Spurs, but I mean, like the, the, the VAR decision to disallow Richarlison's goal. You've, mm. And I just, have you seen it? Yeah, it was an offside. I mean, if that's offside, Rance, we may as well all pack up and go home because, and yeah. I'm not saying it because it's Spurs. I'm, I just, I remember watching it thinking, oh, what, how? Like, what What part of him is offside? We're, we're actively now trying to find reasons to mm. disallow goals. That's what we're doing. 100%. We went from benefit of the doubt being for, with the, the attacker daylight to, yeah. to fucking clear and obvious. Like, yeah. And then now it's fucking AI technology. What kind of bullshit is that? <laughs> like, you know what I mean, if the guy looks on side, he's on side. That's fine. Do you know what I mean? That's completely fine. Like your shoulder being offside is not an advantage. It's not. Do you know what I mean? I I never understood this. Like if my feet are behind your feet, and I'm offside because my armpit. What? Like like I'm sorry. Like how is that? How is yeah, yeah. that an advantage? My armpit being ahead of your feet, but my feet are behind yours. It don't make no damn sense. It's like if there's not if there's not clear daylight, because most football fans, we can tell an offside yeah in normal play, bro. Because we yeah. players don't teleport. Do you know what I'm saying? Like most of the yeah, time yeah. when I see players through on goal, I'm like, yo, this looks off. You know what I mean? And most of the time, I'd say 90% of the time, most football fans can tell an offside. There's that little 10% of the time where you're like, you know what, this is really tight. But most yeah, of the yeah. time it's not. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Most of the time, it's not that tight. 